You're watching CBS 2 News in high definition. For many women battling cancer, losing their hair is what they fear most. You'll look okay. It'll be okay. Coming up, we're going to show you a new kind of wig that helps cancer victims build self-confidence. Susan G. Komen for the Cure started as a promise between two sisters to end breast cancer forever. To celebrate their strides, Ford presents this passionate about pink moment. Anyone experience any degree of hair loss, we design wigs, hair pieces, so when she looks in the mirror, she sees herself again. And you can look at yourself every day and say, I can do this. This passionate about pink moment is sponsored by your Tri-State Ford dealers. Drive one. Also, being diagnosed with cancer, many patients fear losing their hair. See why there may not be anything to be afraid of anymore. Of all the difficulties that come with a breast cancer diagnosis, one of the things women fear the most is losing their hair during chemotherapy treatments. But today, more than ever, women have options. CBS 2's Kate Sullivan has a story of how one salon is helping cancer patients rebuild their self-confidence. To be able to know that once your hair does start to fall out, that you'll look okay. It'll be okay. Just the idea of losing your hair can be so daunting. Tricky. Debbie Katz knows firsthand, having gone through totally chemo four right. years ago. She's going through it again right now. It's tough, but family and friends are helping her through it. And this time around, there's a new addition to her support team. Proper way to position the hair, Deborah, is four fingers from the top of the eye. Joseph Paris, a master wig maker with a remarkable new approach to hair loss. He calls it the Medical Hair Prosthesis System, or MHP. The key is that Paris uses a person's own hair to make a wig that's unique to every woman. We harvest the hair from the back of the head, and we take out a, a one-inch strip and then we replace it into the front hairline so when she looks in the mirror, it's totally undetectable and it is her own hair. So psychologically, this has tremendous benefits in the recovery process. Since many patients start losing their hair by the second treatment, Paris says it's important to get fitted early so that the wig will be ready when you need it. It's also important to discuss the process with your doctor so you have a chance of getting your hair piece covered by your insurance carrier. And though Debbie's insurance didn't cover the cost of her wig, she is thrilled with the outcome and so is her husband. My wife, four years ago when she got a hair piece, she cried the whole time. When she came down here, he put the the hairpiece on her, she smiled, and I'm not kidding. Within seconds, he put the hairpiece on her, and she was smiling, sitting, looking in the mirror. And Debbie did, in fact, lose her hair just a few days ago. So today, she was back in Joseph Paris's salon for a final fitting and styling. And here's Debbie now with her brand new hairpiece, and she is absolutely thrilled. Of course, we wish her the very best of luck. To hear more inspirational stories about fighting and surviving breast cancer, we hope you will watch our CBS2 special, Race for the Cure. That's Saturday, September 6th, at 7 p.m. Mark your calendar for that. You'll want to watch that.